I'm Carol Handley with KBCS, and I'm here talking with Ben Kyle of the band Romantica. They just put out a brand new CD called Shadowlands, which is really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so glad that you had time in your little promotional tour to stop by and chat with us and play a little guitar. Yeah. Um, now, the band formed in 2002. You're at, based out of Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been quite some time between this album and the albums before, and we'll get to that. Sure. But um, I wanted to first talk about the genesis of how this whole concept came together. Romantica? Yes, yes. the band. Well, we, we sort of were born out of uh, college friendships. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, most of us met in college um, and had been friends uh, you know, for some time. So it was really kind of a group of friends got together and uh, I grew up playing songs, writing songs. My dad was a songwriter, so I probably started trying to write songs when I was six or seven. And um, so I had all these, you know, songs I was writing and these friends um, in college that were encouraging me to, to play them more. And, yeah. and so uh, essentially they said we need to start a band. And so we did. Yeah. Yeah. And we had already, we were off camera, we were talking about the fact that you're from a big Irish family. Yes. Was your entire family musical? Yeah, they were. My, my grandmother was a, was a, a choir master and a um, piano uh, teacher, organist. And so um, she was my piano teacher. It was short-lived because I, I couldn't handle, you know, my grandmother turning into a, a, a sort of a... Uh, and uh, well, a cross old woman um, when I would show up for my piano lessons. So, so th those went quickly. But um, no, my my dad taught me to to play the guitar, and I, I grew up singing in choir, and all my whole all my siblings did too. So we played a lot of music together. And in fact, I even um, was part of a family band that played Irish folk music um, in bars and pubs yeah. um, as a boy. Yeah, I was going to yeah. ask. You certainly had enough for a full band with all yeah, those, yeah. all those siblings. Yeah, that's fun. So when you first formed yeah. Romantica mm -hmm. uh, with your college friends, how long uh, before you put out your first album? It was very short, actually. We, we um, got together, and, and within a few months, actually, we were signed by uh, just a local independent label in, in Minneapolis. And so the, I think the, f you know, the first album uh, was out within a year. Right. Um, uh, it's yeah. Your Weakness That I Want. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in 2002. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was described as um, sort of Americana meets Irish rock. Yeah. And when I think about Irish rock, that's such a broad spectrum of people. You know, Van Morrison to Hot House Flowers to Tear to Nog and, yeah. you know, people that might fall in that Americana Irish rock mix. How did you feel about that? And does it describe who you guys are, you think? Yeah. I mean, I think it's a fair uh, description. I mean, um, I certainly... I uh, grew up with that history and, and background. Those are my roots and um, grew up playing Irish folk music, but loved, listened to Van Morrison and, and U2 and Hot House Flowers were one of my favorite bands growing up. And um, when a couple of years later we got to play with Hot House Flowers, it was like a dream come true, yeah. you know. Um, but uh, yeah, those Irish roots. And then I think moving to the Midwest, you know, my teens uh, and, uh, and being exposed to sort of country rock, the Jayhawks, yeah. um, you know, Wilco and, and uh, bands like that, that really sort of um, really flavored my sensibilities um, from then on. And so um, I think you know, that's the direction I went. And of course, the Irish never left me. So, right. you know, so it, was, it wasn't anything intentional, but it was just a, a nice sort of happenstance, you know. Yeah. That, that what the, the sign that sort of came out. Yeah. Excellent. And then that was followed uh, in uh, 2007 with America. Is yes, that right? Yes. Um, and you won some awards at the International Songwriting Competition for that album. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah. Um, and what followed after Americana? Um, after, after America. America. Yeah, after America, um, we, we did uh, a, an album called Control, Alt, Country, Delete mm -hmm. in, in 2009. Um, that was sort of a, an experiment or a, uh, maybe a, a, a sort of ticket out of jail card. We were sort of trapped in a, in a, in a label deal um, that we were, that were, wasn't, uh, we were unhappy with. And, and, um, and so we, we tried to, uh, you know, sort of reasonably, um, to, you know, sort of end that era, end that season by recording an album in a day. And right. and that's what we did with Control Alt Country Delete. And that, as I understand it, was were you still at South by Southwest when we that were. was recorded? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. 
Yeah, so we had an extra day at the end that we had no shows, nothing planned, and and uh, we just we were actually staying with a friend, um, sleeping on his studio floor. So yeah. uh, we were just in the perfect uh, situation to record an album, and 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 we just went for it. And and um, surprisingly, some long a lot of the sort of you know um, long time romantic fans that it ended up being their favorite album, you know, <laughs> which I always say doesn't speak. <laughs> volumes for the albums that we spend a year on you know <laughs> if we can do that in a day but I think that you know something came out just in the in the raw mm-hmm. um energy of of sort of being being um you know uh get set have those limits set for you you know and and uh mm-hmm. just really uh trying to be creative within those limits um something very you know interesting came out of that yeah, as I think the saying goes, that there's nothing to fuel creativity like a deadline and anxiety. There you go. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, maybe you'd like to play something for us. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, let me do a song off of the new album Shadowlands, but it's it harks back to earlier days, um, like days we've been talking about, and this is a song. Um, uh, sort of very autobiographical about growing up in Belfast and um, my my uh, shared a room with my older brother. Um, we, there was a lot of sharing rooms and sharing beds with seven kids. And my older brother was um, bedridden for a year off school with a, an injury and and so he would um, always in the afternoons when I got home from school ask me to go down to the sweetie shop and buy him a packet of bonbons and a can of shandy bass, <laughs> and uh, shandy bass is sort of our uh, lemonade with a little bit of beer in it. But, right. but uh, there was no legal limit, you know. So apparently, a six-year-old was able to go to the <laughs> sweetie shop and buy shandy bass for his brother, um, and that's what this song's about. Great. When I was just six years old, my brother used to say, Hop down to the sweetie shop, get me this today. One packet of bonbons and a can of shandy bass. And if there is some money over, you can make it last. So I hopped up on my bike and headed down the hill Hopped off when I got there, my legs were spinning still One packet of bonbons, a can of shandy bass Harry just looked at me and laughed Said, boy, you got no business buying shandy for your brother Sir said he's sick in bed, it's okay with my mother If you don't mind, I'll have a shoot and fifteen penny shoes Before I go, I'll have a wee look at the girl in the evening news And we'll all grow up, have our families Send our boys to football school, teach our girls to sing And we'll all grow up someday, these lonely days will pass for now I'll sit down on my bed, drink my shandy bath. For now I'll sit down on my bed and drink my shandy bath. Ba ba da ba, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 da. Ooh, ba ba da ba, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 da. I know it's a perfect day We should go out and play Baby, the sun's still shining Hey, I know it's a perfect day We should go out and play Baby, the sun's still shining if there was some money left, I'd quickly run next door. Buy me one of those Chelsea bums I was always craving for. One packet of bonbons and a can of shandy bass. Harry, he just looked at me and laughed. 
He said, boy, you got no business buying shandy for your brother. Sir, I said, he's sick and bad. It's okay with my mother. If you don't mind, I'll have a shoot and 15 penny shoes. Before I go, we'll have a wee look at the girl in the evening news. And we'll all grow up, have our family. Send our boys to football school and teach our girls to sing. We'll all grow up someday, these lonely days will pass. For now I'll sit down on my bed and drink my shammy bass. For now I'll sit down on my bed, drink my shammy bass. For now I'll sit down on my bed and drink my shandy bass. <laughs> Ben Kyle of Romantica, and you're the primary songwriter in the band as well, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. And um, that song is true. You have grown up and you have many babies now, and I'm sure you're That's sending right. them off to begin football, and you're all singing at home because right. you have five children. Yeah, this is true. This is true. I, I, I mean, I, I grew up, my mom used to play um, field hockey for Ireland, so we were um, a sports family too, you know, and, yeah. and I grew up playing football or soccer is, as you call it here. And um, yes, I've certainly encouraged my boys to play a sport that I love. And yeah. and um, and uh, both the boys and the girls are, are singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. Um, now, there was a little bit of time before the album we were talking about before, Contr Control Alt Country Delete, yes. the live one that you did at the end of the South by Southwest tour, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and Shadowlands. And mm -hmm. besides the band going through some changes, yeah. The band having many babies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having to take some time off for that. Yeah. You had an illness, yes, uh, mm -hmm. and one that's I think not uncommon. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was mold based. Yes, yeah. It, the, I think the the name that, that's given to it a lot is biotoxin uh, mold illness. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was that from someplace you were living? And yes, it was. It was. Um, it, it was. It came from uh, mold in the house that we were yeah. living in, sort of unknown, you right. know, um, behind the walls. Sneaks yeah. up on you and takes it out of you. Mm -hmm, it probably took a while to figure that out. It took a long time, yeah, yeah. and it and it really knocked knocked me out for for a long time. Right. Um, it's very very difficult time in yeah. in our lives, yeah. yeah, for sure. So glad you're better and yes. uh, writing great songs. Yes. And putting out Shadowlands. So tell us about um, the gathering of the new band. I love, I saw the short video of the recording of yeah. this at a beautiful farm mm -hmm. and a big old beautiful barn structure yeah. um, that just looked fantastic and just really relaxed and comfortable and, yep. and bringing some new players into the fold. Yep, yep. So yeah, I mean, it was really, um, like you say, there'd been some time between the last album and, and this one, and so the players had changed a bit, and I really felt the need for sort of a gathering um, uh, uh, and a sort of coalescing, you know, of, of, the, of the members of the band, and, and, a, and a really a, a space for us to get together and sort of um, really, do, you know, work out and discover what is the voice of this band now, mm -hmm. you know, um, and so uh, to me the ideal um, setting for that was, you know, to find a a place that we could go to and sort of just live together for for a short time and right. and um, and we did that in the, in this lovely sort of barn uh, farm setting in southwestern Minnesota um, and uh, yeah it was very very I think very fruitful time for us um, uh, Shadowlands was the was the result so right. yeah and tell us about Shadowlands the title yes and the connection possibly with T S Eliot yes um, well. You know, um, I, I mean, the, the, the title "Shadowlands" is really, uh, you know, every when I when I we sort of record an album and and I sort of, I never have a I never well I sometimes I do have a title in mind before we start but usually it changes by the end but it's usually to me it's it's I I want to listen to the body of work and and find a word or a description that that seems to really um, capture just the, the essence of what all those songs um, hover around, mm -hmm. you know, or what they, um, and, and uh, this time um, it was Shadowlands, and um, I think it has to do, there's a theme that running through, a uh, thread running through the album, um, you know, of uh, really uh, the, the sort of dark, darker times, darker seasons of life um, that we often find ourselves in, um, 
um, but but there usually there's you know we discover that there's light around the edges or or you know even in those dark times um, they sort of push us in it's like a doorway to a steeper experience of reality mm -hmm. you know if we're if we press through them um, and I find myself um, in in uh, many uh, you, you know uh, experiences like that during the, the past few years and, yeah. and so Shadowlands seem to seem to capture it. And on Shadowlands, you have a song that, as you're talking about that, reminds me of Harder to Hear, mm. um, which I think a lot of people can relate to with mm -hmm. just the amount of noise in the world in so many different ways, yeah. whether we bring it upon ourselves or whether it's going on around us. Yeah. Um, would you play Harder to Hear? Certainly. I would love Certainly. to hear it. Yeah. Getting harder to hear my heart these days Harder to hear my heart There's so much culture in the way There's so much culture in the way It's getting harder to hear my voice these days Harder to hear my voice There's so many voices in the way There's so many voices in the way Oh Somebody save me Somebody save me I don't want to be cool Oh Somebody shine a light On this soul tonight I don't want to be right It's getting harder to hear the truth these days Harder to hear the truth There's so much money in the way There's so much money in the way It's getting harder to hear from God these days Harder to hear from God There's so much religion in the way So much superstition in the way Oh, somebody save me Somebody save me I don't want to be cool Oh Somebody shine a light on this soul tonight. I don't want to be right. It's getting harder to hear the love these days. Harder to hear the love. So much criticism in the way. So much ammunition. In the way It's getting harder to hear The hope these days Harder to hear the hope So much journalism In the way So much ammunition In the way Oh Somebody save me Somebody save me I don't want to be cool Oh, somebody shine a light On this soul tonight I don't want to be right Oh, somebody shine Harder to hear my heart There's so much culture in the way There's so much culture in the way 
Harder to Hear from Shadowlands, the new album from Romantica, written by Ben Kyle, uh, as is the rest of the album. Very beautiful. And we were just talking, the end of the album says, the end of all of our exploring will be to arrive at where we started and know the place for the first time. And that's something that I think rings true for a lot of people, a quote they certainly know. Yes. And spoke to you enough to put it on the album. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Absolutely, very nice. Yeah. And there was another um, uh, piece that grabbed me off the album, something that you were inspired to write for Graham Parsons. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I, I didn't hear Graham's music until I was in my early 20s. And um, a, a friend had kept bothering me that I should listen to Graham Parsons and... and uh, so finally, one day I was in a secondhand bookstore and I, I found the Graham Parsons album. I thought, well, I should, you know, I yeah. should do it. And so I bought it and, and I still remember so clearly that day. It was the middle of summer and I was driving home in my Cutlass station wagon. You know, the windows rolled down and just speakers blaring. Yeah. And I was so euphoric because I felt like I discovered this sound that, um, you know, I didn't, I had always wanted to hear, but I didn't know existed. You know, it was like... Um, you know, I, this was the sign I'd been looking for all my life, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, uh, and it was, and here it was. And, and, um, so, you know, I just fell in love with Graham's voice and his, um, uh, you know, the duets with Emmy Lou and, and, um, and, you know, then began to dig into his catalog and then read his biographies and, and, you know, to, dis to discover he died, you know, um, so, so young and, um, and, uh, you know, and the, really I was, I think after, when I read his story, it was, you know, sort of moved by how difficult his life had been and, and you know, how the, the sort of the circumstances in which he died. And, um, and then the, the, the incredible sort of legend around his death where, right. where his manager and his bandmates you know, stole his body from the, the airport and drove him out to Joshua Tree and, and sort of cremated him in the desert, uh, according to his wishes, but, you know, and, and not his family's. But... Um, so, you know, the whole sort of mystique of the, of the story and, and then just the, the sort of sadness in me that I would never have a chance to hear Graham in right. real life um, sort of uh, provoked the, the song yeah. Cecil, Cecil Ingram Connor, which is his birth name. His birth name. Yeah. It is quite a dramatic ending for the yes. poor soul, actually. It really is. Yeah, it, yeah, uh, yeah. is practically a story in its own right. Yes. You know, it's yes. really quite incredible. Um, so congratulations on Shadowlands. It's really beautiful. Thank you. To everybody at, on Romantica. Um, and right now you're just going around and talking about it, but we hope that you're yeah. going to be out on the road sometime yes. this year. Yeah, I hope we will be in the fall. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We'll absolutely come back and yep. see us and say okay. hi and chat. All right. And uh, maybe you could leave us with one more. Sure. Why don't I Have do... your choosing. Um, yeah. I'll do the lead track from the album. Okay. I remember meeting you on the warmest day of summer After the springtime, sun warmed the Netherlands Sitting round your table with Johannes and his brother, saying grace and holding little hands. I remember thinking you and me could be best friends, like brothers where the summers never end. We would keep our secrets from your mother, your sister, and your brothers. We would write each other letters we would never send. Singing hallelujah, did the light go through you? Did the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind till you're true? Hallelujah, did the light go through you? Did the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind till you're true? Yeah. Ah. 
I remember kneeling with your father at the altar with your mother and your brother and your father's friend praying hallelujah that the light would go through you that the fire of hell would have an end and we were singing hallelujah let the light go through you let the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind till you're true yeah hallelujah let the light go through you let the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind until you're true yeah i remember talking with your father on my table but your brother said he thought his dad was mad I remember thinking I would ask him if I was drinking doesn't sinking your children make you sad and I remember writing to your father in a letter said I love you I'm going to miss you but I can't pretend your father shot me with an arrow through my heart through the marrow where my spirit meets my bones till i was nearly dead but i was singing hallelujah let the light go through you let the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind Till you're true Hallelujah Let the light go through you Let the sunlight shine through the shadows in your mind Until you're true summer after the springtime sun warmed the Netherlands very nice off of Shadowlands the band Romantica with founder lead vocalist guitarist Ben Kyle do you play any other instruments just out of curiosity just a little bit of piano yeah, yeah. pretty much guitar thank you again for stopping yeah. by and hanging out with us we appreciate it best of luck with a brand new album, may it be extremely successful for you. Thank you, Carol. Yeah, you're very welcome. Me. Glad to be here. You bet. All right. Ba ba da ba, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 da. Ooh, ba ba da ba, ba ba da ba da ba da ba da 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 da. was just six years old my brother used to say hop down to the sweetie shop get me this today